Hello and welcome to Let's Build a Spleef Arena. For those who aren't aware, Spleef is a game in Minecraft which involves knocking your enemy into lava by digging away snow or some other block from underneath him in an arena with like lava underneath a thing. And that's what I'm going to try and build. Originally this was going to be a group project and as you can see over here this is uh, the beginnings of said group project. Uh, project but I've got a weekend of listening to the cricket and football and on the radio so I decided to sneak onto the server and do it whilst nobody else is around plus when you try and make a, a one building with four people designed by committee uh, very rarely comes out with anything special now I want this to be quite a it's going to be a very ambitious project my most ambitious project I've ever taken on myself um, because, yeah, I'm I'm totally mad. Uh, originally, I was I the, the the kind of process in my mind of what it was going to look like. So you have to ah, project like this. You have to have a, a good idea of what you're going to build before you start building it. Um, I I haven't quite gone to the length of drawing out uh, drawings, architectural drawings, but you know it's been pretty close. Uh, I originally started off thinking about a football stadium, maybe something like Old Trafford or Wembley or something close to my heart, say the Medeski staging where Reading play. But then, I like circles, and everything I build in Minecraft generally revolves around a circle. So, I was thinking circular stadiums, and then I thought cricket grounds, and the MCG, the Mel Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia, which is a beautiful stadium, seats 100,000 people, uh, should really be where the 2022 World Cup final is, which should be held if... Uh, FIFA didn't decide to get bribed into giving the World Cup to Qatar, but then I thought maybe maybe that's a bit bit difficult or maybe a bit, bit obvious. Uh, so I thought well, the Globe Theatre, another round building, more intimate. Uh, Shakespeare would be quite nice out of wood. Yeah, it could work, but then you know not ambitious enough for me. So I was thinking then domes. How about like a dome on top, and then somewhere in my mind domes and globes turned into a sphere which turned into the globe uh, so yeah that's what I'm going to do build a spleef arena inside a globe of with a, a proper accurate globe of the earth with continents and sea and everything which yeah ambitious project and let's get started uh, first things first, I had to uh, kind of set out where it was going to be. Uh, I could have knocked down the old arena, but I wanted it further out from the land because it was going to be bigger, and it ended up being bigger than I even planned right now. Uh, so I had a, a big column of 2x2 two two going up from the seabed right up until where I thought it was going to end up, and then started laying out a 30 diameter ring, which would be the base of the lava pit. I used stone bricks here uh, because I felt you know, well, I couldn't really use anything else. I couldn't use wood because it would burn. Uh, because, you know, lava and wood together generally create some sort of fire. So I went round with the circle diagrams. I've never used the kind of 4x4 four four middle uh, circle diagrams, so I've always used the single up uh, one thing, but apparently the 4x4 four four is supposed to give a better, a fatter circle. So I thought I'd, I'd go with it, uh, and I did, and it also enabled me to have a, uh, a symmetrical door. Uh, I built the walls up a couple, and then started to fill it in, which is where the lava's going to go. It's going to sit on the on this kind of flat disc of stone uh, with the with the walls, making sure people fall into it and stopping the fire lava from spreading and causing a fire, which would be very bad, considering I'm making most of it out of wood. Uh, now I was trying to work out exactly how big this sphere was going to be and I majorly underestimated at this stage. I was building it and thinking, oh but yeah that's about right, that'll give me enough room. Um, so that was the original original size of the sphere, it was going to kind of go round the entire thing. Um, but yeah, it ends up a darn sight bigger. Um, then we got making the walls higher before we put the seats in because I wanted a fairly large gap between lava and snow and I also wanted to be able to have a seating underneath to view into the lava and the snow and have a different viewpoint. Uh, as you can see the weather on our server is 
dreadful. A thunderstorm going. It's night most of the time, so I had sort of torches out so I could actually see what I was doing. Uh, lighting would end up being possibly the hardest thing in this whole build. Um, so I was going to, you know, testing, see if I got the right height, putting some snow down. This is the snow level. Uh, make sure the snow didn't melt with lava. We tested it in the last one, and it didn't, so it should be fine. Uh, I was just trying to. Lightning. Uh, trying to give a, a good idea of where it's going to be. Uh, so that happened, and then it was time to build the seats. Now, I wanted the seats to be made out of wood. Kind of felt right that they would be made out of wood. I used oak because I like the oak colour. The others a bit either light or jungles, just a bit funny coloured. I'm not keen on it. So we're using oak most of the way, and the idea is obviously it's got to be a wall in front of the um, in, in front of the snow. So spectators can't just walk straight on because that would be be terrible. You can maybe just have some advertising hoardings as well. So there's going to be a wall up in front of the. Uh, spleef snow zone. I was, I was toying with fences, but because it's a circle, I just didn't like the um, I didn't like the way they didn't join round the diagonals. So I quickly got rid of that and went with just um, just just blocks. And I decided to make the wall only one high and built a kind of walking area around, which um, proved to be. A sensible idea so I can get around. Now this was I need to know how big to build this sphere. So I just built up one edge in kind of a, a steps fashion for the stairs, uh, for the seats, uh, to work out exactly how big I wanted it so you could still get a good view. Um, now the problem was, and I hadn't come to that problem quite yet, but the circle diagram I, did, uh, I was using only went up to a 52 diameter circle and this is going to end up a lot bigger than 52 which requires me to go into paint draw a circle and then zoom in to see the pixels of the circle and you know, that caused a lot of problems later in the build because for some reason paint was coming up with lots of weird weird ass circles that didn't quite match the previous circles so I had to kind of fit it in awkwardly and you'll see that later now just, so, just to remind me of how big it was, I had to go with 70. That is the diameter of the circle. Now I need to know what colour to do the outside of the um, globe. This is clay, stained clay, which is new for 6 uh, 1.6, um, or wool. Now I kind of preferred the colour of the wool, but I like the texture of the clay. And I think if you're going to be realistic, you're not going to build a stadium out of wool, are you? Um, so we got light green wool and dark green wool and uh, dark blue wool or kind of light clay, dark clay, green clay or lime clay. Now I've already decided that I'm going to go for the light blue, light blue clay I think looks best and the uh, dark green so we're going for that one and uh, the, the middle green there not the lime green because that's just too, too bright. Now it's time to build out around the, um, the circumference of the top of the seats. I've done this and got it wrong, as ever. The amount of mistakes I've made in this build in doing circles is ridiculous. The main problem is where they don't match, so you have to kind of build a block and then knock a block out to make it fit, and then you end up knocking the wrong block out and you end up with a... which I did here, so I had to move it all along because I was knocking the wrong blocks out as I was building. Which So... Yeah, and this was using paint, this circle, so it looks a bit odd because I was using paint uh, instead of the circle diagram. Uh, so it kind of has like a pointy bit in the middle, but you know, it works in the end. Okay, the wall, the, yeah, the, the kind of wall I had at the back was, I don't know why I ended up with that, but it's, it, it ended up working well for lighting. As I said, lighting is a huge problem when you've got a big building because trying to get the lighting to work without it just being everywhere is, is difficult. But I, I came up with some lighting solutions I was quite happy with, mainly surrounding this wall, which ends up at the back. Um, as you can see, there's kind of, what, five... a, a sheer bit of five at the back of the seating. Uh, so I carried on round the other side 
looking at the circle diagram every now and then because I kept forgetting. If you listen to me whilst I was actually building, all I was going was four, five, five, four, three twos, one, 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 two, one, one, two, four, four, four ones, three twos, five, four. Uh, literally just going round and round in my head trying to remember the exact layout of the circles, which is a pain in the ass. Because I didn't want to keep having to look at, back at the diagrams. And in the end, I got. Yeah, you know, I'd go to sleep at night and just have numbers going round and round and round and round and round in my head. But I got there in the end, and now this is just trying to set out the extent of the seating. The actual globe ends up being too bigger to give a kind of a, a breathing space between the uh, seating and the outside kind of skin. And now we go, keep on going round. Make hoping that it's gonna link up in the right place in the end, which is not guaranteed. And you can see in the background the old arena. This is a much better place for it because it is further out, so you can get a much bigger circle. The idea is the globe is going to be kind of floating in the water without any. So it's not a full globe. The bottom of the globe, I think Antarctica, uh, the bottom of South America, will probably is you'll go be underwater. But it's, so it just like looks like it's just gently bobbing in the water, and this is the wall I was talking about. Just bringing it down at the back of the seats, kind of is where the fat bit of the globe is as well. But it does turn out to be very useful. I don't. It wasn't a conscious thing to build it. It just kind of happened. Uh, but it ends up being very useful for lighting, which is important, and for kind of where the teams come out where the person comes out for beginning their spleefing. Because at this stage I really haven't thought about the actual spleef thing. I've got the kind of the drum in the middle with the snow and the place of the lava, but I haven't thought about, you know, the logistics of getting people to their areas and stuff yet. Because, you know, that's boring. Uh, <laughs> this took a hell of a long time. And I started building up from the bottom concentric circles, so you get a cone effect going up. But you see, that is 52, and that is where I started having to uh, leave my leave the circle diagram I found on the internet and go back to paint, and it just didn't match up very well. So I kind of had to freehand this. I had to kind of work it out without using diagrams, just try and fill in the gaps that kind of looks reasonable. So I would start in one of the kind of straight bits and try and get them to match, and then try and fill in the the rest in as reasonable a way as possible but it was not not this was the hardest bit trying to get this to look fairly symmetrical around each for all of the four quadrants because yeah you know, trying to remember what you've done before and then trying to look at it and work out what's different and why it's different and how it's different it was basically impossible so you're just counting down oh i've got four there four there four there and just trying to oh this was, yeah, definitely the worst bit of the build for me. Because it was just all wood. All looks the same. And it was just a necessary evil that had to be done before I could get to the exciting bit of building the actual globe. But it worked out in the end. I think they kind of match uh, for most of the way around. And obviously, in two of these kind of quadrants, there will be uh, the entrances up at the top for all the, uh, uh, the, the, the competitors to come in in almost like a, a boxing or wrestling way. I, don't, I imagine a big announcement and they'll kind of come out, take off their dressing gowns, wave to the crowd with some really bad music in the background, walk down some steps waving at everyone, uh, looking angry. Uh, they get to the middle of the arena and look at each other, shake hands and then start spleefing. Uh, that, that's the idea. Um, yeah, yeah I, it's a difficult idea. Trying to get materials to work is quite hard because it kind of it felt it needs to be wood to be realistic because we got a clay thing with a I've got foundations of stone but then if you got a wood floor everywhere do you want to really then start using stone in there because is that it just doesn't feel right because. You know, stone and wood is going to fall down. That's too heavy. You'd need uh, 
you need to have some sort of steel uh, RSJs in there. And, well, they don't have girders in Minecraft yet. I'd like to be able to. I'd like girders. We're not in vanilla. You can put them, obviously, mod packs. But building in vanilla is difficult because of the uh, lack of interesting blocks. Anyway, I carried on and finally finished the um, bowl. Uh, and that's where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, next time, it is going to be building the uh, globe itself and an entrance way to get to it from the land, uh, a bridge over troubled water, a uh, bridge over water into it, a nice big grand entrance. So yeah, so come back next time, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.